Fetal microchimerism is a remarkable phenomenon that creates an enduring biological connection between mother and child, transcending the boundaries of pregnancy and birth. This extraordinary process begins in the womb, where a tiny fraction of fetal cells migrate across the placenta and take up residence in the mother's body. As the fetus develops, its cells embark on a remarkable journey, traversing the placental barrier and entering the maternal bloodstream. These intrepid cellular explorers then disperse throughout the mother's body, settling in various organs and tissues. What's truly astonishing is that these fetal cells can persist in the mother's body for decades after childbirth, creating a lasting biological legacy. The fetal cells that establish themselves in the mother's body are not mere passive residents. They possess an extraordinary ability to adapt and integrate into their new environment. Like cellular chameleons, they can differentiate into various types of tissue, seamlessly blending with the surrounding maternal cells. This remarkable adaptability allows them to potentially contribute to the mother's health in profound ways. When the mother's body faces illness or injury, these fetal cells spring into action. They may participate in tissue repair and regeneration, acting as a built-in repair crew. In times of maternal distress, these cells might mobilize to sites of damage, offering their regenerative capabilities to aid in healing. It's as if the child continues to care for the mother long after leaving the womb through the silent work of these persistent cells. Microchimerism is a concept that holds great importance in the ongoing debate surrounding abortion. For those who argue in favor of a woman's right to choose, the common argument is, it's my body. However, the science behind microchimerism reveals that when a woman is pregnant, her body is not just carrying her own cells, but also cells from the developing fetus. These fetal cells can remain in the mother's body for the rest of her life, even if the pregnancy is terminated. During an abortion, even in the earliest stages of pregnancy, the mother's body is flooded with cells from the fetus. Studies have shown that up to half a million of these cells can be transferred to the mother during the procedure. While the fetus's cells may die with the termination of the pregnancy, the baby's cells that remain in the mother's body will continue to exist and play a role in protecting her health. In future pregnancies, these cells can also provide protection for their younger siblings. There is no bond more intimate than that between a mother and her child. Microchimerism serves as scientific evidence of this powerful connection, highlighting the biological ties that unite a mother and her child forever. This sheds light on the falsehood of abortion, which seeks to sever these bonds and deny the inherent connection between a mother and her offspring. The concept of fetal microchimerism takes on a particularly poignant significance when considered in the context of Mary and Jesus. According to Catholic tradition, Mary's body did not undergo decay after death, but was assumed into heaven. This belief in the assumption of Mary gains a fascinating dimension when viewed through the lens of fetal microchimerism. If we apply our understanding of this biological phenomenon to the relationship between Mary and Jesus, we can imagine that cells from the divine child may have persisted in Mary's body throughout her life. These cells, carrying the unique genetic signature of Jesus, could have imbued Mary's physical form with a touch of the divine. This biological connection might be seen as a physical manifestation of the profound spiritual bond between mother and son. In this light, the preservation of Mary's body takes on new meaning. The presence of Jesus's cells within her could be viewed as a biological sanctification, rendering her body incorruptible. This cellular legacy of Christ within Mary's flesh provides a compelling biological parallel to the spiritual reasons for her bodily assumption into heaven. The concept of fetal microchimerism, when applied to Mary and Jesus, offers a breathtaking fusion of biology 
and theology. It suggests a physical dimension to their unique relationship that complements the spiritual aspects of Catholic doctrine. As we contemplate this extraordinary biological phenomenon, we are left in awe of the intricate and enduring connections forged between mother and child. Fetal microchimerism reminds us that the bond between parent and offspring is not merely emotional or genetic, but a living, dynamic exchange that continues long after birth. It is a testament to the profound and lasting impact that children have on their mothers, written in the very cells of their bodies. In conclusion, the discovery of fetal microchimerism provides scientific evidence for what many have intuitively felt, the unbreakable bond between mother and child. As long as we live, we carry within us a living reminder of our origins, cells from our mothers that have become an integral part of our being. Likewise, mothers bear within them cellular echoes of their children, creating a biological tapestry that interweaves their stories. This knowledge should fill us with wonder and appreciation for the complexity of life and the depth of our connections. It reminds us that we are never truly alone. The love and support of our mothers is with us always, encoded in the very fabric of our bodies. And for mothers, it reinforces the profound impact they have on their children's lives, extending far beyond birth and early care. As we contemplate this amazing biological phenomenon, we are left with a sense of awe at the intricacy of nature and the depth of the mother-child bond. Fetal microchimerism stands as a testament to the enduring power of this relationship, a microscopic but mighty reminder of the love that formed us and the connection that sustains us throughout our lives.